Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Guitar of the Day. I'm your host, Michael Lemo, and it's a whole nother week here at Norman's. Jen? <laughs> I'm coming back, okay? Jen? <laughs> Jen! <laughs> you guys are struggling. Yeah, we're, we're hurting. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Who knows what I'm currently doing right now? Probably running around. See, this is pre-recorded, so I'm probably searching for everything right now without Jen. But anyway, uh, she'll be back Thursday. All will be well. And Norm's also coming back from uh, the guitar show in Dallas. So we're going to have a bunch of new uh, guitars coming through that we're going to be covering here on Guitar of the Day. Uh, and we'll also be doing the contest winner uh, as soon as she gets back to for this this fresh week so uh but today uh we got something uh, pretty cool so come on back let's check it out so this is a 1978 fender telecaster in antigua finish Ooh, looks very familiar yeah Mark I love it though. Okay, okay. See, I, it's the, I know he did it. The but voice he... from the Philippines is coming. <laughs> Holy guacamole, it's nature's butter, okay? Yes, I love it. And then uh, here's the black hole. <laughs> okay, how many picks were lost in this black hole? That's the question. You're strumming and then phew, That's it's true. gone. Never That's... to be seen again. Again. Four ply pick guard. You got the white, black, and white. That's what you're seeing here. Just wore through it from. I guess just picking away. It's kind of crazy how that came out. I mean, it's not even, you feel nothing, just just amazingness. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so they did Antigua finish from 77 to 79. Um, this is actually a pretty light guitar once again for the 70s. I know I said the, the about the black one too, but we've been getting some of these. Same neck profile as well, uh, kind of a an easy uh, C. This one's a little deeper than the black one, but uh, still plays great. Uh, 25 and a half scale length, uh, two single coil pickups, and uh, like I said, this guitar actually really started off in like more of like a gray, and it kind of turns into this this holy guacamole. guacamole. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love guacamole. Jen's like, yeah, we'll talk about that. <laughs> um, but it, like I said, super easy guitar to play, and I know it looks a little crazy, but I actually kind of like it. I think it's kind of cool. Although I like green a lot, and you, you know, you do have green shoes. I do have green shoes. Not now, but I'm maybe saying. too many of them. <laughs> but it's because I need a guac guitar. <laughs> and uh, but no, we're gonna take this out front and uh, see what it can do. But I'll say this much: one of the easiest playing tellies, uh, especially for '70s tellies that I've played. Um, so this one, I picked it because it's a player. It plays so great. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna show you. Let's go out front and see what it can do. All right, we're out front with the 1978 Fender Telecaster in Antigua finish. Uh, we're going through the magnetone, all the cues at noon, and a little bit of verb, and we're also gonna use the ditto a little bit. Uh, so uh, we're starting off in the neck pickup, here we go.
Let's go to uh, middle pickups. So we're using uh, both pickups together. Here we go. We're gonna do a uh, bridge pickup, wide open. Here we go.
There you have it, the 1978 Fender Telecaster in an Antigua finish here at Norman's Rare Guitars. You can check out all these guitars at normansrareguitars.com and also on Instagram and Facebook at Norman's Rare Guitars. I'm your host, Michael Lemo, and we will see you tomorrow for Wednesday. Bye.